Hey guys, Larkley Talk here, and welcome back to another video of mine. This time we're venturing out of Disney Plus for probably one video, and instead going down a mountain. Yep, I'm here to talk about Paramount Plus, as just recently today, Paramount Plus has been officially launched in Ireland and UK, as well as some other regions across Europe. Paramount Plus is the newest streaming service to hit these regions with Disney Plus, Netflix, Apple TV, and Amazon Prime Video. So we're getting a bit more cluttered. But, and oh, oh yeah, I also forgot about Peacock, but to be fair, I think everyone forgets about Peacock after a while. <laughs> so this time we have Viacom's attempt of showing off their IPs and getting into that streaming money. So it was only a matter of time until the UK and Ireland got it, so here we are. So let's check into Paramount Plus for the UK and Ireland and see, for the launch at least, what do they have to offer for this very moment. Kind of similar to Star on Disney Plus as well that I did a while ago. So as you can see, I've already set up a Paramount Plus account because apparently I got it a lot earlier than originally planned because um, I was waiting for it, and then eventually, through Google Play, apparently Paramount just released this thing a day early, so I was able to get in, download it, and up we're running with Paramount Plus. Kind of weird, but man, I'm not going to complain. At least it gave me an early peek into what's to offer. So, again, this is Paramount Plus. Here we are with the main open tab, main home tab which shows off the originals, such as the Halo TV series, which in here has three episodes out, but the others will be weekly. We have The First Lady, which has all ten episodes available to watch. We have Star Trek Strange New World, which I think has three episodes as well out, but will be weekly afterwards, every Wednesday or so, like Disney+. Plus. We have Super Pumped as well, another Paramount Plus exclusive series. And we have the Paw Patrol movie, which is a Paramount Plus movie in a way, but it was still released in theaters, and for Ireland UK at least, it was released in theaters first, so yeah. So we'll get into the tabs of the brands later with these ones here, but for now let's go down a bit and see what we have. So first off we have... First off, I have to keep watching this. I already watched the first episode of Spongebob and South Park here. So it tells you like what episode's next. And what's cool here is that if you go to edit, you can actually remove the show. If you say, for example, you don't want to continue watching a show or movie after you know it doesn't catch your interest, you can just go into this, click it off, and then bam, the movie or show is removed from your keep watching list. Disney Plus could, should honestly use that for, you know, lesson because there are many Disney Plus shows I don't watch, and uh, it stays there until eventually it just goes. Okay, you're not watching that. Go somewhere else. So at least that helps out that you have the option to get rid of something if you're not watching it. So that's cool for Paramount Plus to have here. There we go. And then we have the usual the list category, which, you know, if you go within the Pacific show or movie, you can have it there to watch, such as here we have Dexter, Frasier, Team America, the Jimmy Neutron movie, and Beavis and Butthead movie, and other stuff here as well that you can put on your watch list. So, that's good. We have that need of that. Underneath, we have the original slash exclusive series, such as, like, in Halo, The First Lady and Super Pump, as well as the Yellowstone prequel, 1883, The Man Who Fell to Earth, uh, The Mayors of Kingstown, The Offer, Star Trek Discovery, Queens of the Universe. So at least like we also have Yellowstone, which is a Paramount Plus exclusive original series here, as the US doesn't have it because of the Paramount Network, but we have it here. As well we have Camp Cole, The Art Carly, Revival, Players, Fat Bush, The Misdemeanors or whatever. The Work Rats Revival and a lot more, like the 2021 version of the Behind the Music. So, we have that. And we have the new releases and block of blockbuster movies. So we have the newest Paramount Plus movie, 
Jerry and Marge go large. We have the Paw Patrol, as previously stated. We have the post-COVID movies of South Park. We have the paranormal activity film Next of Kin. Uh, and mainly going through, you know, the newest Paramount Plus movies, as well as the other movies and shows, the movies at least, released from Paramount that's on here, like the Mission Impossible films here, or the Trans the Transformers franchise, Grease, and more like it. So, we have that. And then we have a whole thing about Star Trek here, which I think this has a lot of Star Trek in here, but some stuff are still missing. Like, we have Strange New World again, but as well, we have The Next Generation, we have First Contact, the original Star Trek series. Uh, we have the films such as The Wrath of Khan, the 2009 um, reboot of the franchise. Uh, we have the animated series released on Nickelodeon, which I know there's another Star Trek animated series this one for adults called Lord Dex. But I think that's on Amazon for now, so we won't get that here for a while. But you know, if you're a Star Trek fan, this does have a majority of the franchise here, I think. I'm not a Star Trek fan myself to know if it's 100% complete or not, but it is a good amount of Star Trek stuff in here. And we have Iconic series, which goes into different stuff, mainly from Showtime and other stuff, such as we have the Dexter, Next B New Blood, The Affair, Your Honor, uh, the original Dexter, Blue Bloods, uh, City of a Hill, The L Word, Brotherhood and Elementary, and a lot of other kind of more drama, crime series. faster. We have reality hits, which goes into more of the NTV stuff, such as the Queen's Universe again, but also like Jersey Shore, Excellent on the Beach, uh, Catfish, Teen Mom, The Hills, the Jersey Shore, and all that stuff. Not my thing, but you know, it's someone's thing out there. We have the British True Crime, which goes into more like the you know crime stuff from Britain, such as the Railway Killers, uh, heists, and all that. Mainly, I think this goes from the, uh, the Segolian channel, I think. I don't know. We also have a comedy series which goes from adult and kids, like we have South Park and the iCarly Revival, as well as Frasier, Cheers, uh, Players Again. I also have, like, for the Plattbush, the Misdemeanors, there is a new thing coming out when there's a new season added. So at least if you're... If you're still catching what's new and what's old, that at least can tell you, you know, that it's new, a new season or show has been added, so that's cool. Cool to have. And then we have all the other stuff, like comedy movies, which has like Sue Lander, and that we have all the thrillers, which goes into the, like stuff like The Hunt for Red October, uh, A Fatal Attraction, and all that stuff. Uh, we have the romantic comedies stuff. The sci-fi and fantasy, like Halo, Halloween Harassment, uh, article, uh, artificial intelligence, and that. We have the documentary stuff as well. Uh, we have Music Makers, which goes into, like, the MTV-esque stuff, like Behind the Music, the Mad on Matrix, and all that. We have the Family Movies, which has, like, the Paw Patrol, School of Rock, the, Ava, the last Airbender movie, and the first Spongebob movie. And then we have the kids' favorites. We go into like Paw Patrol, SpongeBob, Peppa Pig, Loud House, and that stuff. And Milkshake is kind of a mix between Nick, Nick Jr. and some other preschooler network, as we have like Thomas and the Thomas the Tank Engine, uh, Fireman Sam, and all these other you know preschooler stuff. So it has a good like good home selection of stuff there in the homepage. So. With that, let's go into the brands. So far, we have about seven brands featured in Paramount Plus in UK and Ireland. Uh, I think it's only six in the US, but it could be seven later, but I'll get into that later. Starting off, we have the Paramount Plus originals and exclusives. So, we'll get into this real quick. And it shows off all the original... Uh, shows and movies released on Paramount Plus 
here, like we said, we have the 1983, we have the First Lady, Halo, uh, R. Carly, uh, Camp Cool, uh, Paw Patrol, Paranormal Activity, Rugrats, all of that stuff. It's just showing off every single original series and movie released on Paramount Plus, so, you know, we got that one. So, again, up here we have all the different stuff as well. We have the series, movies, and the brands, which I'll go into here for Showtime. So, here we are with Showtime, which I believe in the US, Paramount Plus doesn't have Showtime regularly over there. Instead, you have to buy an add-on to combine Showtime with Paramount Plus. But I guess with international deals and rules, that's changed so we can have Showtime in Paramount Plus here. So again, we have stuff like The Affair, American Wusk, Billions, the Dexter series and its sequel, uh, Free For All, Kidding, Happy-ish, Nurse Jackie, L Word, Pin Twin Peaks and Your Honor. So a good amount of thriller, drama, you know, type of shows and that on Showtime. Next up we have Comedy Central, which at least for right now, this is probably the most bare bones brand that Paramount Plus has to offer here because at least for the other two I showed, there's a lot to them. Like there's over like there's definitely more than ten stuff in there. Here, on the other hand, we only have six things on Comedy Central right now. We have, like, Board City, Corporate, Inside Amy Schumer, uh, Russell Brand Movie, Co uh, South Park, and Workaholics. Uh, now, I know that Comedy Central is still on Now TV with all their shows, so it's more likely we'll add more of it later down the line. But, man, is this collection just bare bones because... Let's admit ourselves, you only go to Comedy Central for South Park. Again, since we don't have HBO Max here, we can just have all of South Park available to watch here. So, you know, Comedy Central definitely needs a lot more in there just besides South Park. So, yeah, Comedy Central's kind of bare bones. What's the prize? Next up, we have MTV, which at least in comparison to Comedy Central has a lot more to it, but it's still not 100% just yet. So we have stuff like we have, we have Catfish, we have the the re 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 reboot of Behind the Music, we have the X on the Beach, uh, we have the Jersey Shore, Hills, uh, and Team Mom stuff. There is a lack of Beavis and Butthead and Daria, which I believe tomorrow, as this video is like being recorded on that, uh, I think all of all of Beavis and Butthead is coming out later in the U.S. Paramount Plus with to kind of be with the new Do the Universe movie. So maybe, hopefully, Beavis and Butthead will come out sooner on Paramount Plus here. Uh, but you still have at least a decent amount of stuff in here that's. You no, know, that has, you know, the usual MTV way of things, so, you know, there's that. Now we go into probably one of the biggest IPs on Paramount Plus that more likely a lot of people would pay for here, and that is with Nickelodeon. So, I'm kind of mixed on how Nickelodeon is so far because there is a decent amount of stuff here. Like, we have Jimmy Neutron, we have Avatar... Uh, we have Big Time Rush, uh, Breadwinners, Castanitas, The Danger Force, Danny Phantom, Fairly Odd Parents, Henry Danger. Uh, we have the Hey Arnold Jungle movie. Uh, we have Art Carly, the original series in here too. Uh, it's Pony. Uh, the Hunku Panda, Lego City shows. We have Legend of Korra, uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Loud House, Mid Post Post, Ned's Declassified. Uh, we have the Patrick Star Show, uh, Penguins of Madagascar. Uh, we have the Wise of Team NT, uh, the original Workrat series, Sam and Cat. Uh, the 2021 Smurfs cartoon. Uh, we have SpongeBob. We have the 2012 Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles, Victoria's Soy 101, and that. So it's weird that on the one hand, it has stuff that the US Paramount Plus doesn't have. 
like the Patrick Star show, it was the Smurfs, It's Pony, and uh, what was the other show? Uh, it's Pony. I th- oh Midsummer Post. Um, those shows aren't even on the Paramount Paramount Plus in the U.S. yet. So we got some stuff that the U.S. won't have. And I don't know about the live action stuff personally. I mean, you have Art Carly, uh, Victorious, Soy 101. But I know some people probably like Where's Jake and Josh? So, and other live action stuff. But for the animated side, which is more my category with Nickelodeon, um, it's pretty minimum. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Well, of course, you're going to have SpongeBob. So you're going to have them there. And at least it has all 12 seasons of SpongeBob there. So that's good. Again, Team NT is still very limited, but at least we have the five seasons of the 2012 series and season one of the Wise series. Again, we have the Smurfs cartoon, which I know how Warner Brothers, I guess, owns the original classic Hanaba Bebe cartoon, but at least uh, Paramount has the old new one. Um, but then when you go past the newer stuff, you don't have much of the classics. You know, you have Daddy Phantom. You know, you have all three seasons. You have all ten seasons of Fairly Odd Parents. So that's that. But then you have like Hey Arnold, who's only the Jungle movie and the proper theatrical movie is only on here. Uh, and then you got like because you got the Loud House and the Casanitas, but that's just, outside of Rugrats. There's not much of the classic Nicktoons in here. There's no. Waco's Modern Life. There's no Wen and Stimpy or the four season one of Doug that Nickelodeon made. There's not even the ones from the 2000s. You know, there's no Invader Sim. There's no My Life as a Teenage Robot. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there that people love. And even with Jimmy Neutron, Jimmy Neutron only has like one season available to watch. Weird. Again, I know they have Avatar and Korra, so they have that demographic. But. I was expecting a bit more Nicktoons. Maybe down the line we'll get more of the classic Nickelodeon shows on here. So, it's still a decent lineup. Like it has Spongebob, the other parents, and the other live action stuff. But it still feels limited. And with the amount of the 90s Nickelodeon shows not available, that could potentially hurt things because a lot of people love the classic 90s Nickelodeon shows. So... Yeah, but again, it's still decent for what it is. It just needs improving. Then we have Nick Jr., which, again, I don't care about this personally, but it's still not worthy to talk about. So we have we have stuff like the Pattinson series. We have the Baby Sharks Big Show. Uh, we got Blue's Clues and You, which I think is... I don't think the original Blue's Clues is on here. Uh, we have Door of the Explorer and Go D'Amico Go. We have Paw Patrol. Uh, we have at least the first couple of seasons of Peppa Pig in here too. Jeez, that one kid looks more... It looks more... You know, broken as these images continue to show him. Because he looks like he's screaming in pain and actually being happy. Again, I don't care much about Nick Jr. in general. But, you know, you have, you have Paw Patrol. You have Peppa Pig. You got this... Whatever this um car is, character's name is, so you know, for what it is, you got you know, your Nick Jr. stuff. And we have the Smith the Smith Goldian channel, which is like Paramount's version of the National Geographic, where we go into a lot more between mysteries and real life tragedies and nature and other themes like National Geographic in here. So no, it's probably still what the watch, but I wouldn't say I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be an expert on what exactly, you know, is on this channel in comparison. Same goes with National Geographic. So with that, that's like the brands. Again, there is CBS shows available on here, but I guess it must have not been as big to not be featured in its own tab in comparison to all the other. Uh, major six company studios from Paramount. But now let's go into the other things here, such as all the series. So we have, like, we have all the different categories. Like, we have every single show, which will list out everything. 
that Paramount Plus has in the shows, but we have originals and exclusives as well. You know, again, just in case you want to know again what's exclusive to Paramount Plus. Uh, we have the what, I, what we recommend, so they'll recommend certain shows to you here. We have the serious, Seriously Funny collection, which go into the more comedy shows again. Again, it kind of just goes through what we had in the home screen, where we have British crime dramas, documentary series, reality hits, sci-fi, kids' favorites, and milkshake. But then we also have the movies on here, which has a little more to it in here than the shows. Again, we have every movie they have available here to see through. But we have stuff like the action genre, which will go into films like 24 Hours, uh, Black Rain, uh, Escape from Alcatraz, The Crow 2, G.I. Joe, uh, The Italian Job, the original series. We have the Mission Impossible films again, like I mentioned. Uh, Peacemaker, The Phantom, all that stuff you expect. Then you have the Children and Family Collection, which... You know, goes into the Pacific films from Nickelodeon and other stuff. Like we have the Adams Family films, Barnyard, which I don't think it, back to the Barnyard is on Paramount Plus on the US. So I guess that's something that the world just will never get. Uh, but we have like a boy named Charlie Brown, Cat in the Hat. Some films from other studios is that Paramount distributed. Wit. Again, we have like stuff like the Hey Arnold films are on here, but the show itself isn't just yet. So I don't know why. That's the case. So we're going to have Jimmy Neutron in the movie. So, I mean, at least Jimmy Neutron's on there, even if it's only one season. Uh, like we have the SpongeBob movie again. I know the second film's on par- on Netflix for a limited time, but the third film, Sponge on the One, is a Netflix exclusive in UK and Ireland. So I don't know if later down the line Paramount will pull it from Netflix and place back onto here. Like with what Disney did with the Netflix MCU shows. Who knows? And then we have like the Wild Thornberries. Which again the movie's there. But the show isn't. And again the Work Rats case. None of their films is on Paramount Plus just yet. So weird. And again we go into comedy. Which you know has stuff like Fearless Fearless Day Off. Emma. Uh, the Dictator, Beavis and Butthead to America, Clue, uh, the Airplane films, which I love. Again, like, strangely, some of it, like Beavis and Butthead, like I mentioned, the show's not there yet, but maybe with the new Paramount Plus movie, it might come out later on down the line. We have the crime genre, which comes like a, uh, Among the Spider, Amer- American Gigolo, and more like that. We have the documentary stuff, which again goes into the, you know, the Segovian stuff again. Uh, we have drama stuff here, so films like, you know, Artificial Intelligence, the Two a Life films, I think that's what they're all called. Uh, American Beauty, A Beautiful Mind, Cash Rain 2, uh, more, more films like that. Then you have a horror, color, a horror genre, which... One of the weird things here as well is that we have the Friday the 13th films, which, you know, at least for the first A Paramount distributed. At least from, well, from 2 to 8 it's fine, all is normal. The third film isn't available though, and despite what you think, this is actually the original film. It just uses the 2009 cover instead of the original 1980. Uh, cover so it's weird but at least outside of the third film you have almost every Paramount Friday the 13th film on here so that's good and then we have The Devil Inside Case 30, 39 uh, Halloween 6 is on here because of uh, Miramax or Dimension Films I think who I think Paramount owns so we have like The Haunting, Mimic the original My Bloody Valentine which the remake is done by Lionsgate, so that won't be here. Uh, we have the Paranormal Activity franchise, which outside the first one and the Ghost Dimension, uh, the other films are here, including the Paramount Plus uh, original film. 
And we have the first three screen movies, which and all in on the fifth film, just Scream for 2022, will be released on Paramount Plus in July, apparently. So only a matter of time on that. As well, the fourth film is on Netflix, so only time will tell on how long that will stay up on that one. And again, we have musicals like we go into Grease, Grease Two, uh, you know, big big time movie, Dream Girls, uh, the Katy Perry and Justin Bieber documentary films. So there's that. Uh, we have the romantic comedies once again so we have like Clueless, Pretty in Pink, Breakfast and Tiffany's and all that. We go into the sci-fi and fantasy genre which can go into Article Intelligence, uh, Cloverfield, Clock Stoppers, uh, more like that. And finally we have thrillers. So we have stuff like Among a Spider, Black Rain and all that stuff. And then that's about it. Um, there's no ad or uh, there's no ad free or ad memberships available for UK and pa- Ireland's Paramount. Um, this is just plain and simple. Do you want to pay for it monthly or yearly? So we don't have what the US has. As well, we don't have the live TV networks that the US has for you know sports and certain Paramount. Networks like Nickelodeon and stuff like that. Um, as well for right now, it is very limited on what devices Paramount Plus is supportive on. Um, if you have a Chromecast, you're good. If you have a Sky Cinema membership, you will be able to get Paramount Plus for free. You know, you don't have to pay for the add-on. Um, but if you're like a now a now TV membership person you won't get it for now until probably later on down the line um so I think that's about it for Paramount Plus so again I like Paramount Plus it still has a lot of things in there like Spongebob, South Park uh, the Paramount movies but there's still a majority of things missing but again this could be fixed later when Paramount gets more control of international rights, like what, what, what like what Disney has been doing with Disney Plus, especially when Star was launched, with how many Fox IPs were under certain studios as like Netflix, Amazon, and all that stuff, and then after a while, Disney just picked them all up and put them on Disney Plus afterwards. Um. And I know, like, we have a Scream 2022 coming. We have Sonic the Hedgehog, which the first one's on Netflix. I think the second one is just now on Sky Store for a bit. So, it'll take a while until Sonic will be on here. But, it's still, it's, it'll take time to get, you know, for Paramount Plus to really take off and become successful over here. Because it's all testing the water. And for all we know, there could be more stuff, like, we could add the Nickelodeon shows on here. We could add more from Comedy Central, as a lot of shows from Comedy Central is leaving Now TV. Um, so it could potentially add more, as well, like I said, Beavis and Butthead could probably come out tomorrow if things go well. As well with Daria and other MTV-esque shows here. It just all depends on international deals and if Paramount still has the rights to them internationally. It could possibly be all different depending on what region you live in. But regardless, I still think Paramount Plus has the potential of working. It just needs to iron out its edges a bit to really work. Like with what Disney Plus has been doing here. So, only time will tell on how Paramount Plus will do, but I think I'm still going to like using Paramount Plus. There's still a lot of stuff in there that convinced me to get it. Like Spongebob, South Park, Sonic the Hedgehog. You have all this stuff there. I'd say arguably this and HBO Max 
are the only little streaming services that I can really see competing with Disney Plus because they have the brands, they have the IPs to fight against, you know. And while HBO Max won't be here until 2025, which more likely I will make a video on when that time comes, um, but for Paramount Plus's sake, uh, for right now, it's a decent launch. It just desperately needs more content to really work. Paramount Plus, the originals and exclusives are fine. Showtime is fine as well. Uh, Nick Jr., I don't know personally to me, but it's still fine. You know, it still has a lot of stuff for kids, and the Segorian channel is still doing good. But it's mainly with Paramount, with Comedy Central, MTV, and Nickelodeon that they need to add more. Like I said, MTV, they might need to more add Beavis and Butthead, Daria, uh, whatever popular um, MTV show in the 90s or 2000s needs to be on there. Nickelodeon needs more of the classic Nickelodeon work from the Nicktoons like Win and Stimpy, Waco, My Life as a Teenage Robot, Invader Sim, all that stuff. And then Comedy Central needs the most. It needs a lot more shows than just relying on South Park. But again, this could all change later. As I know there's like also like Cliff with the Big Red Dog is supposed to come out later, which I think it's on now TV at the moment. And there's also the third Paramount Plus film of South Park is not available here, so only time will tell on how long that will take. But again, Paramount Plus has the potential. It just needs to iron the edges and just add more content to really work. But still, I think Paramount Plus is on a decent start. It's like a 6 out of 10 for right now. So, yeah. And also, for the mobile, they need to fix downloads. There's a weird thing where you can't, do can't download every show that's on there or even every movie. And outside of some select ones here and there, like Dexter, a lot of the shows you can't download an episode for. So, they probably need to fix that for mobile. But, again... I think Paramount Plus is on a decent start. It just needs to improve itself later on. Churn out the years. So, so with that, I think that's about it for Paramount Plus. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if this comes out a bit laggy, it's because of my OBS is uh, laggy. And at least I'm using my new mic my microphone again to do this, so hopefully I don't make too much loud noises. So, with that, I want to thank you guys for joining me in this video, and I'll see you guys until my next video. See you guys later.